Uh, hello traders, uh, hello traders, uh, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, uh, bonjour, bonsoir, mes amis, good morning, good morning, good morning, uh, for those of you who are new to us, we are the GSTW, uh, so uh, S08 uh, traders. Uh, this is the first video in a series of six videos titled uh, Slow Stochastic Reloaded. Uh, we will discuss uh, specific aspects of uh, uh, this indicator and focus uh, on practical trading uh, strategy. We encourage traders okay, to watch all six unique uh, video because each video reveals a specific uh, trading uh, strategy. Uh, reloaded uh, part started. one. Okay. Let's get started. Thank you for watching. Here we can see that the stochastic uh, 83 okay, it becomes uh, overbought for the first time. When we say that the stochastic becomes overbought for the first time, we mean that the stochastic moves from the oversold zone to the overbought zone for the first time. Here you can see here, it moves from the oversold below 75, okay, below 25, which is the oversold zone, oversold zone, uh, 25 level, overbought zone, 75. When we say that the stochastic uh, becomes overbought for the first time it means that the stochastic moves from the oversold zone to the overbought zone for the first time right here okay when we say that the stochastic becomes oversold for the first time it means that the stochastic moves from the overbought zone to the oversold zone for the first time right here where the vertical line is the stochastic becomes oversold for the first time but then it, be it stays oversold for a long time but this is where the stochastic, where the vertical line is, that's where the stochastic becomes oversold for the first time. But then you can see that it stays oversold for a long time. Here we can see where I place my vertical line, that's where the stochastic becomes, okay, overbought for the first time, but then it stays overbought for, okay, a bit of time, okay, right here, okay. So what we want to do, when the stochastic, okay, becomes overbought for the first time we will draw horizontal line there to highlight okay the level okay when a stochastic becomes overbought for the first time it is highlighting a resistance level so right here we will draw horizontal line to highlight the resistance that the stochastic okay is indicating to us all right but in fact, we can see on the chart the resistance level. So the stochastic, okay, is just, okay, telling us something that is already obvious on the chart. All right? It's telling us this is a resistance level, but we knew already because the prior decent direction here, we knew that it was a hot spot trading zone, okay? So the stochastic is confirming to us something that we already know. If you are a new trader, okay, we will find the stochastic very useful. But when we become more experienced traders, we can, in fact, okay, look at the price straight away, okay? All right, so here, okay, the stochastic is telling me that we are at a resistance zone because the stochastic moves from the oversold zone to the overbought zone for the first time overbought above 75 level is indicating to us a resistance level this resistance this resistance zone in fact we can move our red line a bit up because we know the resistance level this level here we don't want to fool ourselves in fact it went up to this level but okay average all right we put it there okay all right so how do we trade it a lot of traders at this point in time okay will just show and <laughs> sometimes the price will go up as you can see in this session here moment please all right as you can see in this session here the stochastic where my cursor is moves from the oversold zone to the overbought zone for the first time at this point in time we will draw horizontal line here but look what's happened if you were just selling because the stochastic was overbought you will be selling all this time when the price is going up all right all right you see now you will be selling all this time because your favorite indicator stochastic 83 is overboard and you will be selling okay and the price will be going up all right that's not the right way all right 
So when the stochastic becomes overboard for the first time, we will draw a horizontal line. So here, where we are, you see, it moved from oversold to overboard for the first time right here. What I will do, ladies and gentlemen, we draw horizontal line. So what I will do, we will draw horizontal line, okay? All right? Sometimes traders uh, will learn something and they will forget to put into practice because of the emotion that comes with a trading. All right? Self-control is very, very important in trading. All right? So, right here. So, at this point in time, stochastic uh, right here, okay, is pointing to us a resistance level. All right? Here. But we know it already because you see here, the price ditching direction here. You see here, there was a resistance here already. So stochastic uh, again, from the oversold to the overbought, is telling that this is a resistance. So I just draw it. But look what happened. I will buy instead here because the price break above the resistance level. We know sometimes trader will see a resistance level and they will just sell. Okay, if you have excellent money management in place and you know what you are doing, you can take those sort of risk, tiny risk. All right, but that's not the best way to do it. All right, here you can see that the stochastic the price, uh, okay, break above the resistance level. Price at the resistance level can find a resistance right there, okay, and come back down. Or don't forget, okay, the second option the price can perfectly break above the resistance level and retest it and turn around right here and start displaying higher lows, higher high. During that time, a lot of traders that are trading indicators, instead of keeping eyes on the market patterns, will be busy selling and lose a lot of money. Because, okay, due to emotions, okay, and other things in the market, well, these traders do not draw the trend line. Okay? Stochastic was overbought all this time. The prior was in a, or above, okay, a bullish trend line display, higher lows and higher high. Price is going up. It's not going down. Do not sell. Here, this, this time, we were here, okay, stochastic uh, 833. I need to mention that. It's above 75 level. Pointing to us a resistance level, we look, we keep our eyes wide open. Yes, it's a resistance level. We do not sell. Now, what do we do? We switch to the hourly chart. Okay. We were here on the hourly chart. We will draw the bullish trend line because the stochastic moves from the oversold to the overbought zone. It's telling us that the price is in a rising channel or the price is moving up. This is the bullish channel. How do we sell? If there will be a signal to sell, the price will be below the bullish trend line and come back and retest it. Here it didn't. You can see that it was trying to come, but us, okay, the simple moving of a 20 is uh, getting very bearish. Trader was selling on the edge of the bearish, okay, um, uh, a simple moving of a 20 on the edge here. It was Friday. In fact, uh, there are more to this because uh, since Monday, 24th of September, 2012, okay, in normal condition, the price, okay, should retest, okay, a trend line here. We are going to show you that very fast because it's not part of this video. <laughs> it was here, okay. Trader were waiting for the price to come back and retest this trend line. But what do we see? Okay, is that a lot of traders that consider themselves as aggressive traders couldn't wait for orderly okay sell signal. They were selling anyhow here. Small money was desperate to bring the price to the best place to sell. They bring they brought it here. You can see at this resistance at least they sold it. And then small money was trying to bring it to the this level here, which is the best place to sell. Finally, it's Friday, the last day, they decided to sell. Price went fast because it was Friday. In fact, uh, not much is going to happen. They just sold it down. The price couldn't come back and retest it. They were selling on the edge here. In normal condition, the best way to sell is to allow the price to break below and to retest. If you are in this scenario, you will be very careful. Either you take a tiny stop loss, which means you are willing to, okay, if they take you out, okay, that's fine, it's finished, okay? It's a tiny stop loss, finished, all right? But if you want to remain longer and take a bigger risk, stop loss should be above this level. 
one can perfectly switch to a lower time frame apart from the hourly chart to pinpoint okay a low risk entry point i will not go into detail about that all right so this is about how one can use the stochastic the slow stochastic on the four hour chart overbought we will switch to the hourly chart draw the trend line okay wait for the price to break below the trend line retest a turn around by the way there is a video that we posted at www.best-trading-strategy.com it's not repeat is not a part of the tstw24 but we posted that video there for educational purposes to show traders how they can play with the stochastic all right okay so let's go back again to the four hour chart this time we'll look at oversold a stochastic you see here the stochastic was oversold for the first time vertical line you see here all right pay attention to the vertical line we're on a four hour chart okay we want to use the four hours and the hourly chart we will draw the horizontal line to highlight the support level that the stochastic is pointing to us stochastic is oversold is pointing to us a support level full stop we can see ourselves but the stop the stochastic is just assisting us okay all right so stochastic is saying to me right here that this is a support level but i know already because the price change direction here you see it's a support level here it's a support level same level okay here you touch it here you see support level stochastic is confirming to me this is a support level but like a lot of uh, aggressive trader will just place a trade to buy because the stochastic on the four hour chart a very crowded time frame trader will just place order to buy or to sell okay oversold they will say buy overbought sell it's a madness the market is not uh, okay uh, permanently consolidating if the market was permanently consolidating one can okay trade that way but it's not as you can see here this method of trading overbought sell over sold buy didn't work this is the time where a lot of traders will give up okay we will we'll lose a lot of money you can see here it was overbought all this time but the prior was displaying high lows high high going in a rising channel on a four hours chart overbought does not mean sell oversold does not mean buy all right so how do we handle it on a four hour chart you see here so right here i see it, it was oversold for the first time we draw the horizontal line which is the blue line in this case and as i explained to you you can see here the price went down instead those who were selling here those who were buying here they lost money the price went down price was looking for a better support level this is about higher time frame commanding the lower time frame market stabilizer. this is about a trading strategy using the four hour chart and if the hourly chart and the stochastic when one is using a trading strategy one must use the trading strategy together with the trading triangle and the market stable data if you are using any trading strategy in a void without paying attention to the economy news the market first the sector before the individual financial instrument one is just okay in fact okay gambling sometimes it may work sometimes it may not work all right very important and the second element talking about market stable data is the fractal pattern of the market okay the higher time frame commands the lower time frame this is the four hour chart but we are looking at the pound dollar currency pair this strategy is valid for stock for commodity for any financial instrument but the four hour chart is just one uh, one okay proportion of the pound dollar currency pair so to speak okay i do not want the video to be too long so we continue now it's over so we draw the line here we switch to the hourly chart okay very often traders will learn one method of trading and uh, due to the emotion okay that come with the trading this is about the mindset of trading okay of trading like a pro okay when one can it comes through experience so do not be discouraged okay when one can perfectly look at the price okay and uh, handle the pressure of trading because very often during the normal uh, real-time trading trader panic trader lose control and they make a lot of decision or they forget it completely about the strategy and they do all sorts of things okay 
you want to control yourself so you can make excellent trading decision very very important all right so at that point in time we were here okay so end of the 25th of september beginning of 26th of september 2012 we were here right here okay so the blue line is there so if you want to buy as i explained to you we come to the hourly chart the blue line that we have drawn the hourly chart or which means the support level that we have drawn on the on the four hour chart now on the hourly chart we must draw a bearish uh, trend line because the stochastic move from overboard to the overzone so we must draw a bearish trend line we were here so we will join this point and this point so if you want to buy there was no signal here to buy because you prefer the price to break above the bearish trend line and to retest the bearish trend line and at a retest point to receive a signal to buy before you will buy. So here there was no signal to buy because the price was in fact on the support level but below the bearish trend line. Here it went above it, retest it here but it was a bit messy but you will switch to another entry time frame to pinpoint your entry point sometime the price does not trend the price will consolidate okay here it did trend because after it break above retest here it went away sometime it will not which means it will go horizontal okay so you will enter and say whoa George, your strategy didn't work this time the price does not always trend all right okay so now it break above it and test it here it moves all right he moves all right okay if you are trading strong you can confirm okay uh, at a retest point if you see some surge in trading volume that will be a confirmation for those who are trading stocks for forex we do not use volumes okay so here okay the forex market is moving all the time okay the volume is there all the time okay boom all right for our chart draw the resistance level or the support level if the stochastic is overbought on the four hour chart, draw the resistance level. Do not just draw it. Pay attention to the price itself, like I'll show you now on the four hour chart. When the stochastic becomes oversold for the first time on the four hour chart, draw the support level. Don't just draw it anyhow. Pay attention to the price itself. Okay, once you draw it, switch to the hourly chart. If the stochastic is oversold on the four hour chart, switch to the hourly chart, draw the bearish trend line, allow the price to break above the, the, the bearish trend line to retest it and wait for a clear cut signal at a retest point. This is the stochastic reloaded uh, part one. I hope you have enjoyed this video about stochastic reloaded part one and that you will put into use uh, to make excellent trading decisions. We are the TSTWSYS008 uh, traders. See you in the next video when we will discuss, okay, stochastic reloaded uh, part two.